today we're going to do a one jump exercise to start introducing dogs to the concept that sometimes you have to take the non-obvious side of the jump, or what we call in agility the backside. Backsides are something that you generally won't see in the lower levels of competition, um, at least not in the States, it's more common in other parts of the world. But in master classes occasionally, and definitely in premier classes, this is a skill that dogs need to have. Um, and having had dogs who had to learn how to do this very late in their career, because this is a fairly new phenomenon, I can tell you that it's much easier if your dogs learn that sometimes you go to the backside at the beginning of their career. Um, so this is a good one to play with even for the less experienced dogs. I've put cones on the back of my jump just to help give a visual. In competition, they will never be sent to the backside of a wingless jump. So if the jumps that you have to train with at home are wingless, definitely stick your cones out there. And in that case, I would leave the cones out there. Um, just because this is a fairly tight turn we're asking the dogs to do, they don't need to be tweaking their shoulders trying to go around the side of a jump and take off without a lot of space. I'm also, I have my jump very low today. If this is new for your dog, even if it's a big dog, I would get that jump all the way down to the ground. Um, I have it at four inches, not actually, if you have it on the ground, they're likely to bump it and then they learn that it's okay for jump bars to move. So have it in whatever your lowest cup is, I should say, not all the way on the ground. All right, so you can actually warm this up without even having a bar in place, just by sending around to the backside. You do need to decide what your verbal cue for this is going to be. Uh, Spice's cue for this is la la, which means go to the back and take the jump, as opposed to jump, which is take the jump this way. Uh, and I am gonna help her out with my body in the beginning. Often we can get there to support the backside. Sometimes you can't, so it is nice to have a dog that will go on just the verbal, but since this is new for our dogs, we're gonna help them out. You do wanna make sure they can still see the wing. I don't wanna come all the way out here. And okay, welcome back to our introducing the backside video. I have no idea why the camera stopped recording, but I'm gonna to try to splice these two clips together and hopefully it will work and the recording will continue. Um, as I was saying, you want to make sure the dog can see the wing so they have an idea that they're going around and that there will be a jump there. It's really easy for the dog to knock the bar on a backside, so we do wanna to try to give them as much information as possible. Quick. La, 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 la. Jump. Good girl, get it. Um, so for your dogs that are new, when they get around and see the bar, go ahead and ask them to jump. Um, really with her, Lala has eventually become go around and jump. Ready? La 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 la. Yay! You do want to make sure you're working both sides. A la 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 la. Yay! Good girl. Um, because you never know which way you're going to have to turn. and Some dogs do turn better than others. Um, so you can see she's pretty much enjoying this. She doesn't really think the backside is any harder than the front side. I can tell you that my older dogs, Chili and Salsa, who had to learn how to do backsides when they were older, I always lost a little bit of enthusiasm from them um, just because they would rather just take the front side than have to add these more complicated turns. That's very cute, by the way. Break. Okay, so one more. Yay, good girl. Hold up. Thank you. Um, so it may take you a little bit to build up the confidence and get that distance. You want your dog going that confidently before you even think about raising that bar up though. So don't be in a hurry to add height. You wanna have a good understanding of what go to the backside is first. And leave those cones in place for a little while. If you have wing jumps, you can fade them out, um, but don't be in too much of a rush to fade them. Again, you wanna have really good understanding. 